Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, Part 252. And let's go back to Charlotte for the longest race of the season, the Coca-Cola 600. Or in this case, I guess, the Coca-Cola 150. Alright, let's not sign autographs. I don't. I hope I don't have to go through that minigame anymore, since I'm at the fan cap. Charlotte, North Carolina is more than just another stop on the NASCAR Nextel Cup circuit. It is a home game for race teams, a date to shine in front of family and friends. The Lowe's Motor Speedway is a tricky mile and a half track that drivers like to think of as a friendly neighbor, but that is not always the case. Tonight, the longest race of the season, 600 grueling miles, where only the winner shares a Coke and a smile. EA Sports proudly welcomes you to the Coca-Cola 600. Yay, epic intro. Also, Harry, that was very accurate. Never gonna hit those notes. We're no strangers to love. Fucking Scott Wimmer's like constantly starting in last. Anyways, I'm on the pole. Starting alongside Junior, who doesn't want me dead anymore. His fans probably still do, though. Anyways, uh, I was kind of saying before I stopped to let Bill Weber do his intro. Um, hopefully I don't have to do that loose, very loose, oh my god. Okay, see you, Torrent. Um, hopefully I don't have to do that minigame anymore, because hopefully the fans I lose from just ignoring the session completely is less than what I gain from doing well in these races, so I can just stay at the fan cap. Vickers! Pass Vickers for the lead in the All-Star. Now I gotta pass Vickers for the lead in the 600. And there we go. Yay. Did it. Sody pop. All right, so long race ahead of us here, 150 miles. Yay! Oops, that's that's. Might need to tighten this thing up when I pit. I'm not doing 20 seasons. Fuck that, Denny. I right, just need to get my bearings here. Done full 400 laps. So have I, just not in this game. Remember last year when I did the full 600 in, I think it was Heat 2? Does that mean Gen 4 cars will make a comeback? What? Hey, I'm pulling a gap. As I do. And OBS is frozen. As it does. Didn't ask our 01. Ah. There will probably one be one day where I like LP a PS1 era NASCAR game. No one's gonna enjoy it. I might enjoy it, maybe, but no one's going to want to watch it, especially NASCAR 98, because it'll be, th it'll just be three hour videos of, just the way the engine sounds are in that game, constant vacuum. 
or the Daytona Beach track was cool in the uh, the PS1 Thunder games. Longest race of the season except for the road courses. Yeah, no, the road courses are shorter. In terms of distance, this is definitely easily the longest race. They end doing a review of Super Trucks Racing. Carrying that game down. Huh, I remember that game. I actually had I actually liked that game. The rubber banding was stupid. Cause uh yeah. Like the actual game difficulty was dumb because it's like, oh hey look, they're extremely slow, and then you take the lead, oh hey look, they go faster than what's actually possible for that truck. Neat. But the overall gameplay was good, I think. Next finger was dead after that Daytona 500. Hooray! I need to, like, continue my 100% uh, season mode thing for the second channel. I need to do some kind of content for the second channel. It's kind of dead right now. I wish it was alive. Going around in circles again. Anyways, that sounds like a cool idea, Kayfabe. I mean, I'm no stranger to have having people tear down games that I personally really like and think are good. Now I didn't forget about it, Harry. It's just I got caught up with other things, mostly eye racing. The problem is, I'm not recording any of this for the second channel, so therefore I'm not like cross-recording shit like I was with Toka. And I don't have time to like separately record things. There's something I've want I want to do this year with the second channel, but I don't think I'll have the time to do it. Which making me a sad. Although I could transfer the idea into something else. And have that work, maybe. I don't know. Eye racing races for eh. Nah. Nah. I kind of want that channel just to be, like, game playthroughs and not, like, iRacing stuff. I'm going to keep the iRacing stuff to just the main channel. Remember when I said I would never have a second channel because I don't see the point in it? Oh, how the times have changed. Remember when I said I'd never play iRacing because it's an overpriced piece of garbage? Guess who was wrong? It's actually a expensive but justifiably priced fucking amazing experience. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is not the line. This might be the line in iRacing, but that's not the line here. Novice GT4. No Cameron. It's called Team SFR. So I didn't actually know what to name the channel, so I just named it after my fucking shitty team name that I use in whenever I need a team name and stuff. Ah! How's this compared to the iRacing version? Um, I don't know. That's like comparing apples to oranges, kind of. Can't really make a comparison. Is that Elliot Sadler in second place? I'm seeing some M&Ms behind me. So halfway on fuel, so this is going to be a three-stop race. Here comes Sadler. Something I would, something I, something I think I wouldn't say here in this game. So we do full Coke 600. God. Nice. 
Nice kayfabe. Oh wait, that's not. Yeah, it is Sadler. For a second there, I thought that said 88 on the side. I'm like, when does Dale Jarrett run an M and M's delivery? Since when did Yates swap their liveries? Um, the open setup races, yes, Harry, but the fixed setup races are even shorter than that. Because the one fixed setup race I did at Charlotte last week was only 70 laps. Bill Yeats. That's an expensive cash roll. Oh, and here comes... Here comes the arrow loose, because the saddler's right up on my ass. Yeah, that freaking race. Final first 60 laps, green. Final 10 laps, uh, 100 feet of green. Bob Yeats. Ooh. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sadler P1, because I suck. Okay, not too far from making my first pit stop anyway, so it's fine. I'm trying to figure out what Peanut is holding up here on the back of his car. Because my initial reaction was, why is he holding up beer? <laughs> what is this livery? It's a dick. Nope, still can't tell. Is that America livery? Seems to be patriotic M&Ms, yes. I mean, this is the Memorial Day race, so... It makes sense to run that livery, I guess. It's two dicks. Some red, white, and blue M and M's. Cause nothing says America like chocolate. Stewart has a good run. He's coming low. Hi, Stewart. How you doing? All right. Well, we've completed the full distance of the All Star race plus one lap. Once we cross the line here, tastes like freedom. Ray, That's a wall. That's a blinding sun. Both of them have red, white, and blue Skittles. Have they, though? I feel like that's something they would have done at some point. Yay, lap 25. I'm now within my window to make my per first pit stop. The race. I'm going to be denied, though, because I'm now stuck on the outside. A light beer colored water. You want original piss or piss light? Oh, hey, Sadler's pitting. Okay. Sadler is the first to dip. Do a junior. Oh shit, a lot of people are pitting. And I cannot keep my car on the bottom here in three for the life of me. Do the pits. Do the pits. Do the pits. Da 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 da. Okay, that was a decent first segment. First quarter. Destruction Derby. I have not played any of the Destruction Derby games. 
I want to. But I haven't. I should get a PS Classic so I can. No. Oh, is this my pit exit overtake? Yeah, it is. Good. Looks like Newman's also running America livery. What I saw when he passed me there. Here comes Boom Confetti. I need to pay attention to where I'm going instead of looking... No, oh, wait, no, that's not Johnson, that's Gordon. Never mind. Hey, it's not Scott Riggs. Ah! Not dead. Dead status. Not. Holy shit. Okay, so. Track position. Not very good right now. Down to 10th place. Quite a ways behind the leader, which I assume is still Sadler. Yep. And just sneak around Vickers here, again. Seeing a lot of each other here at Charlotte. I, th I contemplated setting up a P.O. box at one point, but it's like, nah. One, I'm lazy, so I would never check it. Two, that'd be... I, I, yeah. People wouldn't know what small town I live in. I don't want that. Because it'd be easy to find me. Yeah, plus P.O. Box costs money. Alright, let's see how much I can recover before we reach the halfway point here. Four seconds behind Newman. People would send me dildos, probably. No, I mean, as long as you know how to play a children's card game, Cameron, you're set for life. I mean, soon Yu-Gi-Oh cards will be currency. Worldwide currency, so. Hey, look, Newman is running America scheme. Livery. It's. Virginia. No thanks, I already have my own. Look, Mr. Happy. Give me room. That's a. F yeah, that's France livery. Vive la France! I do not want to go three wide in the turn one, so I'm just going to let this settle itself before I yeet. I have no idea what that is, kayfabe. Excuse me. Dueling becomes a career option. I mean, for some people it is, because, you know, there, there are those people, the, the professional Yu-Gi-Oh players. What's the shmup made by Square? Actually, speaking of um, companies making different genre games, I need to get, well, I need, I want to get Omega Boost.
Like, I have no interest, it's like, well, no, can't say that. I have extremely small interest in, like, mech shooters, but I want to get Omega Boost just because it's a polyphony game. And it's the only not Gran Turismo game Polyphony ever made. Okay, not racing game, because it, you know, Motor Tune Grand Prix. It's another game I want to get is Motor Tune Grand Prix. Maybe even the first Japanese game as well. Doing it for Dale! The Dale move on Dale. I count Taurus Trophy as a Gran Turismo game, since so it's just a spin-off. I mean, it's literally just Gran Turismo 4, but with motorcycles. Like, for all intents and purposes, it's a standalone expansion of GT4. That's a wall. Bikes update. It's like Drive Club bikes. Or, um, one of the, the random, more random, uh, games I've played. It's like Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Yeah, Drive Club has bikes. Literally called Drive Club bikes. It's like, it's kind of counted as like its own separate thing. But it's still like Drive Club, and you can still access it from just the main Drive Club game. But it could also be a standalone, I think. I remember when before Kyloton made actually like good games, they made fucking Motorcycle Club. <laughs> totally not trying to cash in on Drive Club at all. Nope. Mm -mm. It looked pretty shit. I never played it, but it looked pretty shit. Kinda lied. Yeah, because you don't have Exodia. Gotta have Exodia, man. It's the ultimate card. Not even like the, the Lig... Not like even all five pieces, just literally just Exodia's head. That's all you need. Hey look, I finally caught up to Sadler and also Johnson. Hey Junior. Looks like a lot in SM. Nice. Better have cranked No Leaf Clover up to like 50. Ride was the thing, I love C Polyphony make another bike game. I mean I'd still love C Polyphony make another bike game. But I still would I still don't really need to play Ride 2 and 3. There's a lot of milestone games that I want to play. A lot of them. I just haven't. I still need, like, Jake uh, recently bought me Gravel, and I need to get that. Or, need to get that, need to play that. You should totally get a kayfabe. Alright, tires are starting to give up here, so I think this will be the end of my wall. Okay, maybe not. Hi, Elliot. Bye, Elliot. Hey, look, it's the Lowe's car leading at Lowe's Motor Speedway. I've only played the first ride. Ride 2 looked like re looked like a really good improvement. Ride 3 looks like an even bigger improvement over Ride 2. Or even more of an improvement, I should say. I think I got Taurus Trophy when it, like, initially released. So I'm just like, <gasps> They made a bike game! Okay, let's play it! I got 
have it. It's like Grand. It, it's from the makers of Gran Turismo. I gotta play it. Oh shit! Diamond for like thirty bucks. What a steal! It's going five for two fifty and no scratches. Hell yeah! The cheap gems. Oh, Junior, you're here. Wasn't Junior further back in terms of track position? Now he's in fourth and also joining this battle. I love when you get things like that, Junior. Whoo! Not dead. Not dead. Frickin'. Jared OP and EA in NASCAR games. Yeah. Jack and Daxter for five bucks. Later traded in for Final Fantasy X. Kingdom Hearts Ring Chain Memories. Roger Plank 1 and 3. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I need to get the PS4 uh, version of 1.5 and 2.5. Just sell my PS3 version, I guess. Because optimization, bug fixes, and all that shit. Might as well. Gotta get my cock nice and ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. All those games for just Jack and Daxter. Well then. I should play those, uh, the PS2, like, the big PS2, uh, 3D platformers. Never did. You know, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank. The big, the big three. Quinnath can't get here soon enough. Alright. Well, the thing is, I already have 2.8. I just need, I just want to get the PS4 version of 1.5 and 2.5. Plus, I want a physical copy instead of digital. Cause I like, I like physical merchandise. I like holding it in my hand, stroking it against my penis. Story so far is US exclusive, really. That's weird. Looks like we have our first person to uh, start the second cycle of pit stops. If you don't jack off off the cover art, are you really a gamer? See, this guy gets it. He understands. Same reason why I buy physical CDs over... I spend extra money to buy physical CDs instead of just... Fucking getting digital. It's like hack. It's like I could get this album digitally for like ten bucks, or I could import it from Japan for like fifty. <laughs> Hi Newman, you're supposed to like me. What did you do that for? What did you do that for? What a bonehead move. What's the next LP after this game? Hopefully WRC three. Current plan. For my next LP is WRC3. We'll see what happens once I actually finish this fucking game or what I feel like playing. We'll see. Like 50. Well, it, import fees. Like, first of all, CDs from Japan are fucking expensive. 20 bucks, period. Like, the initial price for a CD in Japan, 20 bucks. Add to it shipping, like international shipping. That's another 20 bucks. It's like, pfft. Let's see these by this point. I still don't know what I'm going to do with my freaking, uh, like, where I'm going to put, uh, my fucking, uh, copy of Go Luck. This is like, hey, this is in a vinyl case. Why is it in a vinyl case? Not important anything. I mean, you have to... You have to be a really passionate idiot like me to want to actually import. Although there is one, there is like a, 
EP single thing that I want to get that I'm actually just going to get digitally because I could either get a CD version of it from CD Japan, $15 plus shipping, or I could get it from Amazon digitally, $2. I'm going to go with $2 on that one. It's only three songs. I, I can handle paying, like, not having a CD for that. Kind of. Six Japanese bonus track. Oh, and then there's my favorite meme that's happened to me twice now. Import CD from Japan. Hey, we're gonna start distributing this in the US. Huh. Well, I'll go fuck myself. It's happened to me twice. Like, fuck me. Happened to me with the the most recent Dolls Box uh, mini album, and it happened to me with fucking the latest Bandmade album. Should have waited. I didn't know though. You know I I like the thing is fucking Dolls Box and Gotcha the Spin. They're those bands. They've never had like any U.S. distribution of their music. So I'm like, well, this is just gonna be the same. So I'll just order it from Japan. And then as after it's already been shipped, and therefore I can't really cancel it. Hi, we're going to distribute this in the U.S. Oh. Isn't that lovely? Huh. Interesting, K-Food. So I'm in 11th after this cycle. Six seconds behind JJ. I don't think I'm going to win this race. Unless something happens. No Jefferson. I must pass you on the left. Do you feel? Oh God! Hi, Jefferson. Um. Another shining moment of stupidity for me in terms of buying music. I paid 80 bucks for a single. Now here's the long form of that, uh, of that explanation. I paid 80 bucks to import. A limited special edition of the single that came with a Blu-ray of a two-hour concert as well as a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of uh, photos of the band so then another special uh, CD which came with their April Fool's uh, song that's why I pirate listen I buy the shit to support the band, alright? Fucking... I like how J Japan just doesn't fucking care. It's like, I have... That, that thing came with two CDs and a Blu-ray. You know what was on the CDs? One CD had two songs, the other CD had one song. That's it. Eight minutes, four minutes. They made 3,500 of those. Support the goddamn artists, yeah. It's like... That's pretty much my counter-argument to everyone who says, this is why I pirate. It's like... It's not the fact that, like, oh, hey, I'm an idiot and I'm just blowing money on everything. It's the fact that I want these... I want to support the, you know, the artists and... See them... Have them make money so they can make more things. Yeah. I'm just stupid in the fact that I will play an exorbitant fucking amount of money to ship shit from Japan, because I'm f dumb. 
When's our debut album coming out? Yesterday, Cameron. It's already been mixed, mastered, and released. I don't live near CD Place. Neither do I. I have to get all my music from, like, either Amazon or CD Japan. Because, like, uh, hey, RKD, uh, race length is 25%. Because that's the longest I can do in career mode. God damn, bonus tracks. Also, um, something I just thought of earlier. I think when Kayfabe mentioned, or somebody mentioned, uh, getting something just for a Japanese bonus track. It reminds me of Owain, where he literally has a song called Japanese Bonus Track, but it's not actually a bonus track. He just, he just named it that. KXC Kilandrid, or in this case, the KX150. Guess what's stupid? Me! Is it me? Do I win? Oh, what has happened up here? Riggs, why- or, it's not Riggs. Shit. Guy who replaced Scott Riggs, why are you going so slow? Um, two copies of each Metallica album, physical and digital. I mean, I guess technically so do I, because I ripped all of my CDs to my hard drive. I just kind of synced them with iTunes. Who the fuck is Tony Walker? He's a fantasy driver. That's who the fuck he is. Come on, Junebug. Alright. So, back up to third. Four seconds behind Johnson. That's a wall of text I can't really read. I think my tire's giving up now. By the way, back to my Blu-ray thing, or back to my $80 for a single thing. The Blu-ray was so worth the 80 bucks. It's an amazing concert. So good. And I tend to not buy live things, but it, this one, this one would justify the purchase. So honestly, this is like the rare case of a band sounding better live than on the album. Sure, post production. I'm sure it has some involvement in it, but fuck it, they sound amazing live. Fuck it, bandmaids and amazing in general. The world needs to know how great this band is. Fuck your goddamn language barriers. Listen to the amazing music. You goddamn. You goddamn. Yeah, one more pit stop. Not sure when I'm gonna make it, but I do need to make one more stop. I never actually purchased anything off iTunes because I refuse to like actually support Apple in any way, shape, or form. Even though I use iTunes to play music on my PC. But I didn't give an Apple a dime. Or I didn't give an Apple. Didn't give Apple a dime, therefore I don't feel bad about it. Uh, nah, I don't think I, uh, my left tires would be completely dead by the end of the race, Junior. Like, I would have less grip net than, than what I do currently do.
Yeah, I, I've saw what happened to Mumkey. Also, I'm gonna get banned now for mentioning him. Um, it's fucking stupid. Like who that? Like who the hell at YouTube has such a horrible vendetta over Mumkey that he's like harassing him this way? It's fucking ridiculous. Silver. I don't know who that is. Who did that? Hundred dollar Lambo Hot Wheels. Goddamn. And almost Junior in the wall. Eat. Nope. Never heard of him. I have shit tasting music, so I don't, uh. I have a very one dimensional shit taste in music, so I don't listen to things. Hey! Deja vu. I should have pitted that lap before. I won't have enough fuel to even make it to 10 to go, Junior. I have like enough fuel for like the next five laps, maybe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take four, get whatever result I can get. We're about actually winning this race, I guess, in the cleanup season. It's fine. It's fine. Five on a rare bootleg corn live CD. Jesus. We need, 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 need. All right. Well, all our pit service is done. Now it's, all it's left to do is race. Me no do bootlegs. There, there's a chance I might undercut Jimmy. I don't think I'll be able to do a three second undercut, but I can at least close the gap a little bit. Or I could just. <laughs> I killed Michael. <laughs> I killed Michael and Newman. <laughs> well, there goes that. There goes any potential of winning. Oh, man. All right, well. They're up my top 10. Best I can do, I guess, is 32nd now. Uh, I didn't want to stop because I wanted to keep my momentum, but I just did not aim my car correctly and fucking killed them. Oh, and I think we're losing body parts now. Debris caution? Yep, debris caution. Yep, Michael lost his bumper. All right. Fucking rip. Oh. Okay, under 10 to go. No. I got my lap back somehow? Okay, I won't question it. I have no idea how I got my lap back, but okay. This game... Is really glitchy with its uh, scoring during cautions and shit. What's happening in front of me? Oh, Michael's just pulling over. All right, he's done. Doing it for Dale. Didn't really mean to do that, but it just kind of happened. I'm being way too aggressive right now, by the way. 
Like, I know I'm doing a lot of things wrong right now. Don't worry, Mike. It's just weight reduction. It's fine. Oh, hey, Harvick's in the lead. Yeah, the pass through the grass. An actual pass through the grass, unlike what the pass through the grass it actually was. And then we have a gap. Can I close this gap? Closing this gap would be nice. Hard dick. Eh. All I know is that Kevin's dorking us right now. Brendan, please. This isn't a Kodak moment. Get away reduction stage two. If you really want to roast him, weight reduction stage three. Did Michael retire? I think he did. Going through three wide off of two. Sure. I'm stupid. Let's do it. Let's do dumb things. I was hoping I could actually clear him down the back straight, but obviously that didn't happen, and well, there you go. Wrecked them both. Oh my god. This is what happens when I drive aggressively. Everything dies. I'm not good at video games. <laughs> Exhibit A. Uh, all that could have pre been prevented if I had just not went three wide. But I wanted to go three wide. Alright, four laps to go. Now, there's only green-white checkers in the truck series in this game. Alright, well. Let's try to not kill anybody else. In these final four laps. This turned from a pretty pretty good race that I didn't have a chance of winning, but getting a solid result of into just a fucking mess. To be fair, a fucking mess would be better for the audience, but for me, not so much. And not Ricky Rudd is uh, getting held up by Sorensen here. And I've learned my lesson, so I'm not about to go three wide again. Someone's running really slowly on the track, and before that's Michael. Ah. Oh! Bobby's blowing up! The engine's blown! Two laps to go. And Labonte's motor grenades. And I decided to go wide there because I thought uh, the guys on the inside would freaking slam on the brakes to avoid Labonte as soon as he, uh, finally dropped onto the apron. That didn't really happen. Anyway, his final lap. Oh yeah, it's Car Casey Mears in the 41, not Sorensen. Jesus. Learn your 2004 roster, idiot. Ooh, snag 7 from Kurt. Yeah. Alright, Harvick's gonna win. And I'm gonna end up taking 7th in what turn into a fucking mess. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Well then. There's that. There is that.
Harvick wins. Jeff Burton, Stewart Johnson, Casey Kane, Johnny Sauter finished in front of me in sixth. Trash race for the trash car, yeah. Wanna bet I'll get the sad uh end of race scene for finishing seventh. It'll probably happen. Anyways, there's all your results. And yeah, I had a couple of retirements from the race, actually. In a shocking turn of events, I was actually celebrating that 7th place finish. Huh. Alright. Well then, so. Here's the point standings after that race. 261 over Junior. Uh, this really doesn't matter, because this top 10 will get reset after... or with 10 races to go, so... yeah. Hey, I'm still holding the points lead. Actually, let's check. We haven't done this on camera or on video in a while. Let's check the other point standings. My boy Ty Sheets went uh, leading the Bush standings. Uh, my truck driver is in 27th, and my modified driver is in 9th. At least the Bush driver's doing good. That's good. So, no new trophy. So, there we go. And. I lost like 10,000 fans from not doing, just completely not doing the autograph session. Got all those back, so that's good. And less than 200,000 points away from level 10 prestige. Hopefully I can reach that before the end of this. That'd be nice, but um, yeah, there's that. So we'll move on to our next race next segment. Stay tuned for more NASCAR.